Hey y'all, my name is Corey Ashton and welcome to another WordPress Wednesday. This video is quickly going to cover a free solution on how to build out a custom area inside of your WordPress dashboard that acts like the same function or features as your blog. You can have specific categories inside of there, utilize tags, and name it anything you want. I'm going to show you what I mean. So specifically, I'm talking about adding a section over here on your left side navigation. By default, you're always going to have posts, and if you're running the Divi theme, you're going to have projects living in here. But what if you want to rename this area as maybe calling it recipes, or add a whole nother section for news, or something along those lines? How would you do that easily and quickly, and again, for the budget of free? You have to plug in a plugin in order to make this happen. So we're going to go to add new underneath plugins. We're going to jump over here on this right side and we're going to look for custom post type. And you're going to find this one right here. Look right here. I mean, they're nearing up to a million active installs as of today. So if you're watching this later on down the road, they easily could be over a million active installs right now. Has phenomenal reviews. It's been updated recently and it's compatible with my version of WordPress. Best practices, anytime you're adding a plugin to your WordPress website, you want to check these parameters just to be certain that they look great like this. And we're going to go ahead and click Install Now. Remember also, before you're really diving into this and, and following this tutorial, pause for a minute. Go be certain you have a backup of your website in place and be certain you know how to get to that backup just in case anything breaks right now. Um, if you wonder how to do that, I have a tutorial in the description box below that you can go check out and follow my steps on how to back up your WordPress website. I'm going to go ahead and click activate right now. Now in doing this, down here on this left side, you should have an area that is its own custom post type for uh, adding new custom post types. Alright, so exciting. Here we go. We're going to go add new. So this is super straightforward to do. We're just going to go step by step and fill out each filled. Now you might feel a little bit overwhelmed with all the options you're about to see here, but I'm going to give you the absolute necessities right now to go in here and create a custom post type. Uh, we're going to walk through these. So post type slug. The example I'm going to do for you right now is I'd like to create a recipes area over here on the left navigation. So custom post type slug. We're going to go ahead and name this recipes, right? There you go. The plural label, again, recipes. This is what you want it to display for the plural label. The singular label is going to be a single recipe, right? That's it, y'all. That simple. One, two, three required fields, and you can click add post type. But I want to take this a step further. I really want to give this its own categories capability. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and click add post type. Next step, I want to go ahead and create the categories area. So now we're going to jump into add edit taxonomies. Let me show you that really quickly on the screen so you can click there as well. Next step is right here. Add edit taxonomies. You see that space? We're going to click there. Let's go into that section. Now here, we're going to go ahead and create recipe categories. That's all we want to do here. We want to create this to say recipe categories. Do you see how it won't allow a space? It's automatically going to put an underline there. That's perfect. Leave it there. We're going to follow again. Just fill in the blank. Plural label. Recipes. Plural. And then single recipe. Right? There you go. And we want to attach it to our custom post type that we just made called recipes. Do you see that right here? Go ahead and click there and click add taxonomy. Now that we have that created, it lives right here, all recipes. You see it right here. Now we can start adding content into it. How cool is that? If we'd like to, we want to go ahead and assign the categories in here too, right? So let's do one extra step. Let's go back here, go back to our post type that we created. You're going to go up here to the top and you're going to select 
edit post type, see that up here at the very top. We're gonna click that. We're gonna select the post type that we've created, recipes. Now we're gonna slide all the way down to the bottom. Don't worry about all this. You can take time if you want to tinker with it, fill in the blank, have fun, get creative, sure. You can even add in your own menu icon if you don't like the little thumbtack that lives over here. So scrolling down, you can then assign what fields you want it to render inside of the post type. So do you want the title? Of course we do. Do we want the page editor area? Of course we do. Do we want the featured image? area yeah i actually do for my recipes and of course you can select anything else that you might like the other step that you'll want to do then is associate that new category that we just made for recipes we want to associate that here under taxonomies we're going to click that recipes and then we're going to go ahead and click the save button just below here save post type and once we do that now Everything is going to function correctly on this left side. When we go here, we're going to see recipes. That's going to be our recipe categories. Now, I don't actually like the, that just saying recipes. I want that to say recipe categories. So let's jump back there and edit that for a minute. I'm going to go back over here to the left side, click taxonomies, uh, edit taxonomies up at the top, edit recipes, right? That's what we want to do. And then the singular label here we're going to call it recipe category and up at the top here we're going to call it recipes recipe categories right plural there you go and let's go ahead and save that taxonomy by clicking this blue button just below here save and that does it now we should see it read correctly look at that brilliant and finally, if all you wanted to do is just simply rename the post area to being news or recipes, you can use this really great plugin. It's last updated five months ago as of this video, custom post type editor. So it will allow you to rename those posts to news or anything you'd like. It's pretty cool. You can go in and simply rename anything you want on that left side and make it a little bit more custom to what you or maybe your client needs. So let me show you really quickly how to plug this one in. You're going to do a search for this name, custom post type editor inside of your dashboard. So let's jump back in there and we're going to go to plugins and say add new. Over here on this right side, you'll do a search. Here it is right here, install now. Go ahead and click activate and we're gonna jump right in. Now that that lives here inside of our website, we can go over here on the left side to custom post types. And now you have it, there it is, there's posts. This is our default area, right? We can go in here and click edit and change that name. Add new recipe, right? It's exactly the way we want to do it. Now this one's a little bit of a longer task because you're overriding one that already exists. So you need to just take your time through each one of these fields if you care to have it be this specific. It's really up to you. But I think for uniformity, especially if you're handing this off to a client, uh, I think this would be best practices just to kind of work down through here. So instead of post attributes, it would be recipe attributes, right? Search post, it would be search recipes. Good, no recipes found. See, you just kind of have to work through each one to make it appropriate now for what this area is. No recipe found, no recipes, plural, found in trash can. New menu name, so here it is instead of post on this left side over there, it's gonna be recipes, right? All recipes. And then add new recipe, right? Or we can just leave it add new, that works. Singular on the post. Oh, learn how to spell <laughs> recipe. Featured image is fine, set featured image is fine. Remove featured image. Post archives, this is gonna be recipe archives now, right? Insert into recipe, I like that, that's nice and custom. Upload to this recipe, right? Filter recipes list, plural. Post list navigation, recipes list navigation, and recipes list. Now, click 
save changes right down here at the bottom. I'll move this screen up so you can see that little button. This is the button here. You're going to go ahead and click save changes. Now magically reload this page. It says right here, reload. And the left side now reads recipes. Go to all recipes. All of your content still lives here. Go to recipe categories and all of those now function perfectly. How cool is that, you guys? I'll put the link to this specific plugin in the description box below. Okay, y'all, I know that that was a lot, but you can always go back and rewind this video. You can also reach out to the developers of this plugin and ask them for support directly. I'll put the link below so you can find this specific plugin. I hope this helps. And if you are a Divi user, you're running your whole website on Divi, or maybe you're using the Divi Builder, I have an entire playlist dedicated to Divi here on my YouTube channel. All right, I will see y'all next WordPress Wednesday. Be sure to click like and subscribe. See you then. Bye, everyone.